From turning beloved fairy tales into timeless animated classics and transforming orange groves into magic kingdoms, the power of Walt Disney's unique brand of storytelling knows no bounds. On the eve of the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World and the reopening of Disneyland, Heritage Auctions, The Art of the Disney Theme Park, and Disney Storybook Art Auction, which will be held April 8th through 10th, looks back on the history of the Disney theme park by allowing fans and collectors the unique and extraordinarily rare opportunity to own pieces of that very special past. The event will offer more than 1,000 lots of art and artifacts. From Walt Disney's Backyard Railroad to the opening of Disneyland in 1955 to the creation of Walt Disney World in 1971, to infinity and beyond. All good journeys need a good beginning, and this one is right out of Hollywood. There, long before Disneyland, on five acres surrounding the Disney family home at 355 Carrollwood Drive in Los Angeles' Holmby Hills neighborhood, Walt Disney debuted his first theme park, a rideable railroad in miniature, exact to the last detail. The Carrollwood Pacific Railroad was 2,615 feet of track upon which Disney, the train conductor, ran his 1 8 scale, 260 pound, coal fueled, 7 and a quarter inch gauge train, all pulled by the locomotive Lily Bell, so named for Walt's wife Lillian. The original plans and blueprints for which serve as the extraordinary centerpiece of the art of the Disney theme park and Disney storybook art event. The sale is chock full of Disneyland nostalgia from the earliest days of the theme park, capturing the mid-century magic and whimsy of its earliest years of operation. Among them are more than two dozen hand silk screened attraction posters, now collecting rarities as these modernist advertisements of Disneyland's adventure and fantasy have taken on a near mythic status in the visual lexicon. Also on offer is a full complement of signs and artifacts from the theme parks, ranging from a fully functioning animated fiber optic display advertising the Main Street Electrical Parade, to cast iron train wheels and other memorabilia from the Disneyland Railroad. And no Disney theme park auction is complete without mention of the Haunted Mansion, the park's iconic attraction with the spooky, funny aesthetic. The sale includes an original painting on canvas from the iconic stretching portrait gallery, featuring a portrait of three men in quicksand whose precarious position is revealed as the room and its portraits stretch. Celebrating a half century since its 1971 opening, Walt Disney World has a starring role in this sale as nostalgia for the Florida theme park and resort has accelerated with the approaching anniversary. The offerings from Walt Disney World are as extensive as the resort itself. Ranging from the iconic oversized map of the Walt Disney World Resort that was displayed in rooms at the Contemporary Resort and Polynesian Resort in the 1970s, to a hand-painted photo op standee featuring the gummy bears from the 1980s Disney Afternoon TV series, to an oversized construction wall sign that teases the coming of a new Tomorrowland in 1994. But the journey doesn't stop with Disneyland and Walt Disney World, as the auction includes rare memorabilia from Disneyland Paris, Tokyo Disneyland, the Disney Cruise Line, and even the Disney Store. Included in this auction are life-sized Disney animated character display figures from the Disney Store and a seven-foot tall statue of Mickey Mouse as the Sorcerer's Apprentice from Fantasia, one of only four created for sale during the Millennium Celebration at Walt Disney World. So many of these lots are one-of-a-kind artifacts, and Heritage Auctions is honored and incredibly excited to not only bring these lots together, but to take collectors on a journey through the history of the Disney theme parks, April 8th through 10th, only at Heritage Auctions. Music